Let's take a look at adding integers in this video. To add integers this time, we're going to use a number line instead of integer chips. Um, we can use number lines to represent integer addition and subtraction, which we'll see later. To show this, we need a number line. On our number line, I'm going to use yellow to represent positive integers, and positive integers are always going to have arrows going to the right, and they're always going to be the distance of the value of that integer. And we're also going to use blue to represent negative integers, which are going to be going to the left, as you'll see here. Let's jump into an example. For my first example, we're going to take a look at positive 2 plus positive 4. I pull up my number line. Whenever I'm going to do a integer addition using a number line, I'm always going to start at 0, right there in the middle of our number line. To represent positive 2, I'm going to draw a line from 0 going positive 2, 2, 2 in this case. Now I need to show the positive 4 place in this uh, addition sentence. So I'm going to go up a little bit from the last line I drew and I'm going to go 4 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces away, plus 4. So this shows me combining my positive 2 plus my positive 4. And if you'll notice, I end up at positive 6, which is exactly what I wanted to get as a result. Let's look at another example. This time we're going to do negative 2 plus negative 5. So similar to the last example, except we're doing negatives. Let's pull up my number line. Again, I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to go negative 2. So 0, negative 2, draw my line. It's going a distance of negative 2. Now my next value here is negative 5, so I'm going to go up a little bit and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This shows me going from negative 5, and you'll notice that I end up on my number line at negative 7, which is exactly what the result of negative 2 plus negative 5 is. It is negative 7. Another example here, we're going to mix together some positives and some negatives. Let's take a look at positive 4 plus negative 4. This will be interesting. So pull up my number line. Again, I'm going to start at 0. I'm going to go positive 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to show my positive 5. And I'm going to have to go from this exact spot here, negative 4. So I'm going to go negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And you'll notice where I end up is actually positive 1, which is really interesting. And that's exactly what we get when we go positive 5 plus negative 4. That equals negative or sorry, positive 1. And one last example here. In this example, we're going to take a look at negative 6 plus positive 7. So again, I'm going to start with my number line. I'm going to start at 0. I'm going to show me going negative 6, or 6 units in the negative direction. And now, on top of that, I need to show going positive 7, or 7 units in the positive direction, which is right. So right above, I'm going to go 7 units to the right. And you'll notice I'm at positive 1 here, which is exactly what I get when I go negative 6 plus positive 7. I get positive 1. Thanks for watching this video on adding integers. Make sure to go practice some of these on your own.